Why, call blimey, governor. I lit the cheese and kisses and the god forbids and the rat and mouse. Took flounder and dab down the frog and toad. But I had a very pleasant pint of pig's ear and a large pimple and blotch. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your um, Quintas here, and today we're gonna. I'm gonna. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna um, teach you some interesting, really interesting guys because you you have never heard about this. If you have never been to England, or you've not heard, or you've not been here in the UK. You've, you probably have not heard about this because I have not heard about this phrases that, you know, sometimes I'm going to say, what did you mean? What did you mean by that? You know, like they are like um, figures of speech to me. So these are uh, some of the um, interesting, funny um, English uh, phrases and expressions so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, share this to you uh, as part of our British culture um, segment here in Quintas channel and before I do that welcome welcome and thank you for watching my videos and I hope that you stick around and I hope that you give me a like and um, don't forget to give me a comment and also subscribe in the end okay so here we go, guys. I'm gonna tell you my first phrase. I'll give you a bunch of fives. Very straightforward, right? I'll give you a bunch of fives. But I know you don't know this. This is the meaning if someone in Britain has told you, I'll give you a bunch of fives. It means that you're going to get a punch in the face. <laughs> what on earth is this? It's so, 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 so miles apart. Okay, this is uh, a bit popular. The number two expression is, Oh, bloomin' neck. It's like uh, a reaction to something. It's like swearing, but not really swearing. So... If you heard, uh, if you hear this word uh, here in the UK, oh, Blumenek, it, it could be something like out of um, amusement or shock, but not literally uh, swearing. It's like, um, it's like a, a, a non-curse um, word exclamation. Okay, number three, number three, guys, that's punts. P. A N T S pants or trouser. Probably you're gonna be thinking, oh, that's very straightforward. No, no, no. It says that the meaning of if you hear somebody tells you that's pants, that's pants. It's meaning that's not very good or uh, it's not really nice. It's not really, really. Um, Connecting, right? I'm not sure why this is um, British expressions uh, came about. Next one. I was gobsmacked. Now you will uh, he, uh, you will hear this because this is a very popular expression as well. It it means I was shocked or lost for words. For example. Um, Oh, he's really very good. I was gobsmacked. Oh, that's how you use it. Now, next expression or uh, phrase. It's all gone pear-shaped. To us, pear-shaped is like, you know, like elongated face, something. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is uh, a bit of an oval, but if it is longer, it's pear shaped. But no, it's not. It's not actually about the fruit. It is 
meaning something has gone wrong i don't know what's wrong with the pear shape but i cannot connect it but british people meant that if they say it's all gone pear shaped something has gone wrong that's it guys now next one going for a slash this is really funny because i would have never thought about this expression let's say if, when 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 you say i'm going for a slash it it sound kind of posh or sound kind of classy but wait you know what's the meaning i'm going to visit a bathroom <laughs> Come on, what is the connection? But this is it. Going for a slash to visit a bathroom. Next one. This is also very interesting. Heading out on the tiles. Heading out on the tiles. Hmm. This kind of connect to me the meaning because of the word tiles. So it says to go out for the night to have a good time or like a party so tiles could be the floor or whatever so i can connect that so i'm i don't have any problem with that uh, next one she she's a curtain twitcher very very uh interesting this means she's a nosy neighbor in tagalog gossiper chismosa this is like um the uh, social media um queen so a nosy neighbor meaning um wanting wanting to know uh, everything about your neighbor mm. next one that's smashing this is a very common very common uh, british expression that smashing is a good word luckily it means super or it means awesome so if you hear that's smashing it means that it's it's a compliment okay now this is funny <laughs> next one did you just pop did you just pop would you guess what is the meaning this is something really smelly did you just fart <laughs> so if i if i smell someone on the train i could say anybody just pop <laughs> i i'm always i'm always a victim on the train every time i'm on the train before i before i uh, get off somebody would pop it's really really rude next one nice bops nice bops do i pronounce it right nice bops look at those bristles oh sounds nice but this is the meaning nice breasts so meaning that the the lady is having some nice boobies <laughs> so do i have nice bobs look at those bristles that is meaning nice breasts okay this is nice she's got a face like a bag full of spanner it sounds like very very um what you call this very honorable uh phrase but the meaning of she's got a face like a bag full of spanner is ugly <laughs> i i know now if somebody whispered look at that lady she's got a face like a bag full of spanner i'm gonna say excuse me <laughs> it means unattractive so you have to hear know this at least you know if there are british people around and they whisper about she's got a face like a bag full of spanner then it means that she's they're referring to you being ugly or unattractive that's not nice isn't it okay this is another one meat and to veg meat and to veg meaning ma man's private parts 
meat and it's it's kind of it's kind of not straightforward meat and two veg I, I cannot connect it I can understand if it is eggplant and eggs <laughs> anyway <laughs> it's that's <laughs> man's privacy part okay I feel grotty when I hear this I thought my husband is saying that he feels like sweaty or he feels like he needs a, a shower but then I realized that this is I'm not feeling well or I'm feeling sick so I feel grotty means not feeling well and then ta, ta it means thank you thanks that is really nice ta. it's a short word ta. so if you hear the word ta it means thank you and this one tada bye <laughs> thank you you just doubled the word ta and it's already bye tada 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 bye and i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but that's it guys those are the 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 interesting um british expressions that i have learned that you might be finding um weird or also funny like me and you can connect how it became a uh you know the meaning be is uh, like that but at least we have new um, new information about the british people you, um, you don't want them to call you a bag full of spanner or you don't want to pop in the middle of the train and you always have to be smashing otherwise um what else otherwise it's gonna be um uh, what is that it's gonna be pants that's fun <laughs> so that's it guys i hope that you learned something about the people here in the uk and i'm um, uh, still um going to um show you around and uh, hope you uh, watch my other videos too thank you so much don't forget to subscribe i love you